All right, guys, it is a chilly, fall, spooky Halloween-y day. Look at those clouds above the target. We're gonna go into, wait a minute, look at this bonus. They're putting up a new Target sign. How cool is that? We are gonna go into the Target to find an awesome Halloween-y movie to watch for our Saturday night snack and a movie. I think we're gonna need a basket. Holy crap, guys, they have pumpkins for $5.99. Look how perfect these things look. They're like perfectly round, that's hilarious. Oh, look at this, there's a leaf. And look what we have right here. Halloween Crunch. First time I've seen it anywhere. It's so Halloween-y in here that even the babies don't have heads. It seems everyone's been murdered. Oh, you gotta love the Halloween cards. Look at this one, a spooky little pumpkin. Wait a minute, all right, that's not what we're here for. I get easily sidetracked. Oh, look, there's Halloween-y clothes out here. Look, I ain't afraid of no ghost. It's sequins. Okay, yes, we're coming up on the DVDs here. I wonder if they have like, look at this. Cruella is already on DVD and Blu-ray. Oh, it's on 4K too. I don't want it, but kind of surprises me. Look at this, we got The Conjuring here, the three film collection on Blu-ray. That's 30 bucks for all three. Oh look, here's Coco. I saw a Coco inflatable at Home Depot, I think it was. The kid playing the guitar. I just couldn't remember what it was. Everywhere I turn, it's Halloween. Look at this awesome, look. The horrifyingly haunted Hackoween Captain Underpants. What the heck? Where's Waldo's spooky spotlight search? This is all apparently a Halloween themed Where's Waldo book. That is sweet. All right, let's get on with the movies here. Let's see, we have, here's Beetlejuice. I don't know if we've done Beetlejuice for a Saturday night snack and a movie yet. We will. Maybe not tonight. Maybe tonight. I don't know. I'll think about that one. Here's The Mummy with Tom Cruise. I don't even have any interest in seeing that. Plus, the only thing Halloween-y about it is the word mummy. Okay, I can't help but notice these over here. How cool is this? Disney chills. Look, this one's part of your nightmare. Friends, fiends on the other side. Second star to the fright. Look, it's Captain Hook. And be careful what you wish for. That's like Cruella de Vil right there. Scary stories to tell in the dark. All right. And then we got It down here. The Outsider. All right. Here's some more DVDs. Let's see what they got over here. Look, they got Quiet Place. Oh, this is the two movie collection. $27.99. This is part two. Uh, yeah. I'd rather pay $27.99 than $22 for just one of them. That way you get both of them in this collection. I have seen these, they're pretty good. We got Friday the 13th on a newly remastered Blu-ray and the It 2 film collection. I definitely wanna do this one soon, but I don't think I wanna do it tonight. I don't know, we'll keep that one in the back burner. Maybe we'll come back to it. Whoa, they have the Goonies in 4K. I'm so tempted to get this. I think I have about four or five copies of the Goonies already though. The Karate Kid Steel Book. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm getting sidetracked again. <laughs> <laughs> Annabelle, two film collection. This one's only five bucks for both films. I don't really want to see that one though. Here's that Chucky seven movie collection where you move this around. It looks like Chucky's actually inside the good guy's box. I have a couple of Chucky movies, not the whole collection, but every time I see this, I have to stop and look at it. Here's the Purge four movie collection. Whenever I'm at uh, Spirit Halloween, people always love for me to look at the Purge masks. Oh, look at this. It's a seven-movie Stephen King collection. The Stand, The Langoliers, Golden Years, The Dead Zone, Pet Cemetery, Silver Bullet, and Graveyard Shift. Silver Bullet is a sweet movie. I haven't seen that one for a long time. Corey Haim is in that one, too. Oh my gosh, here's the Saw 8 film collection. This is Blu-ray, and it's only 15 bucks for all eight films. 
That is a deal right there. Oh, they have Parasite. I haven't seen this one either. I heard a lot about it. Apparently it's really good, but it's just not what I'm looking for tonight. I'm looking for something that's more like just traditional kind of Halloween. That's the mood I'm in. Here's Get Out. Believe it or not, I watched almost the whole movie, then I got interrupted right at the end, and I never went back to it. I never saw the end of this movie, so I need to revisit that one. Oh look, how in the world did I miss all of this? This is all spooky movies. This is exactly what I'm talking about, guys. Everything here is totally awesome. Pocus Pocus, one of my favorites ever. I think I may already own this, but man, am I tempted to watch that right now. I love Hocus Pocus so much. Look, we have the Nightmare Before Christmas sing-along edition. I might even have this one too, I don't remember. It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. You cannot go wrong with that. I have not watched it yet this season, but I'm going to very, very soon. Look, we got Halloween Town and Halloween Town 2. That's 13 bucks. We got Twitches and Twitches 2. Holy crap. Paw Patrol Halloween Heroes. And look at this SpongeBob, the Legend of Bukini Bottom. What in the heck? Hotel Transylvania 2 and 3, but they're sold out of part 1. I think Adam Sandler does his voice, and I think I said that before. Um, look at this, we got Monster House. I love Monster House so much. I've already watched this at least twice this season. Frank and Weenie, I have never seen this one. Oh my gosh, I'm very tempted to make it this one tonight. Frank and Weenie looks awesome. That is definitely top shelf. It's gonna wait right there because I think we might do that one, but let's see what else we got. We got Paranorman. The Corpse Bride, Tower of Terror. Oh my gosh, that has Steve Gutenberg in it. The Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. I saw this one in the theaters, guys. Pretty cool. Goosebumps 1 and 2. Now, I found that number 2 was more Halloween themed. And to finish, we have the Toy Story of Terror. I can't even say it straight. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to go with Frank and Weenie. I just, I have to see this. All right, yeah. Uh, we already looked at these. Already looked at these. Yep, I think Frank and Weenie is the one. Now to figure out the snack. All right, guys, look at this. It is just about to get dark and spooky outside. Look at those clouds. We've got a spooky pumpkin guarding the house, and I am so ready to get in here and make our snack for tonight. Wait till you see what it is. It's going to be so delicious. All the ingredients are waiting for us right here in the kitchen. Wait, let me show you this first. As you know, we're watching Frank and Weenie tonight, and look what I found. Reese Franken cups. What in the world? Look, they're green on the bottom. We're definitely gonna try those, but that is not our only snack for the night. Oh no, tonight we are making Franken weenies. And look, Nathan's hot dogs. Yeah, that's my name. No big deal. So we're gonna use those. This only is a five pack. We got some extras in the fridge that we're gonna use too. You can use any kind you want. We also have Pillsbury Crescent Rolls. Now, I bought two packs of them. There's enough for eight rolls in each of these. We're kinda gonna experiment and see how much we need. I also got a couple of these cake pans here. You can just use a cookie sheet or a pizza pan. And I got some parchment sheets. Don't you try to get away. You can either use these or you can use just regular wax paper, or you probably don't even need to use them at all. I'm only gonna use it so that these don't stick. And if you remember last week, we made the Rice crispy Monsters, and we have a whole bunch of eyes left from that we're gonna use. So basically what we're gonna do is just take these crescent rolls, we're gonna cut them into strips instead of actually rolling them up into rolls, then we're gonna wrap them around the hot dogs like a mummy and bake them in the oven. <laughs>
Okay, guys, those are in for about 10 minutes on 350. We were able to get eight Frankenweeners with one roll of Crescent Rolls. And while those are in, I have got to try a Franken cup. Oh, they smell so good. They're individually wrapped, and they're only about half the size of a regular Reese peanut butter cup. Chocolate on top. Oh, look, it's green on the bottom. It says the cream is green, but I highly doubt it. Hmm. I can't really tell, but it's delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is Frankenlicious or something. All right, guys, there they are, our finished Frankenweenies. Look at some of the eyes got messed up. They melted while they were cooking, but a couple of them stayed perfect. Look at that. Little mummies. That is so awesome. They ended up staying in for probably about a half an hour. I only had them on 350. I probably could have turned them up a little bit more, but they turned out good anyway. Look at that. They're just golden brown and crisp and ready for the eating. We are going to give these a taste test and then we're going to go watch Frank and Weenie. Look at that. Look how the eyes melted. That's hilarious. Mine are good eyes though. I'm not going <laughs> to eat that part. All right. Ready? Yep. Mmm. <laughs> that is delicious. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious, yes. They're absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. We're going to go perch in there and watch Frank and Weenie. Make sure you subscribe and come back every Saturday for more Halloweeny goodness. Saturday night snack and a movie. And keep watching Spirit Halloween and anything else I do. All right, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye, guys.